So I grew up in a traditional Christian household and I found uh, myself very attracted to the teachings of Jesus. But in my experience of Christianity, I had a lot of unanswered philosophical questions. And because of this, over time, unfortunately, I became an atheist. And gradually, as I started growing up in my later teenage years, I started to seek spirituality again. And so I picked up the Bible and uh, I was doing some research, <laughs> becoming reacquainted with Jesus. And in that time, I began praying to God for guidance. And I actually met the Hare Krishna devotees. And through them, I discovered um, that Jesus is actually viewed as a pure devotee of God who was sent by God to the material world in order to attract people to spiritual life, to come back to God, to be with God. And to me, this was really poignant because, um, for one, Jesus is highly revered within Krishna consciousness. He's seen actually as our spiritual teacher. And the founder of the Hare Krishna movement quoted him very frequently in his commentaries. And for that reason, I, I could understand that the philosophy behind Krishna consciousness is very non-sectarian. And it's understood that God or his representatives come um, at different times to different places for different reasons. And um, he approaches everyone um, to try and attract attract all of us. So um, since coming into Krishna consciousness, I feel that I've become actually a, a, a better and more enthusiastic follower of Christ than I ever was before. And I find um, actually great uh, joy in reading the teachings of Jesus.